welcome everybody to the new session of Axel Tech Live. Today I'm here again with Matteo Castagnoli. Thank, thank you, you so Matteo, much. for being with us today again. Thank you. Um, thank you also to Gianluca Righi and uh, Stefano Grego, which are our organizer and mm, director of these live sessions. And uh, thank you all for being with us this time uh, again uh, today. We are going to talk about our DLG Plus, yes. uh, which is our advanced channel branding, Matteo. And so if you have any question or if you want to join the conversation, please press on the little bell here above. Or if you are following us through Facebook, just use the live chat. Um, so, Matteo. Uh, in these last uh, weeks, we focus on our TV products, okay? Yes. And uh, today we would like to uh, just skip a little bit uh, over because we talked, of course, about our um, TV automation, so our XTV suite. And uh, last time we met, uh, we discussed about our um, play out uh, for production, so uh, our Uplay. Today we are talking about our graphic system, okay? So channel branding. Uh, can you, first of all, um, give uh, your experience because uh, we like to focus our discussions, our meeting here with our uh, friends uh, on the uh, customer point of view. So from your experience, uh, what is um, the, the, the most important figures, features of DLG Plus? Uh, and why uh, would you suggest it and to which kind of customer? Well, nowadays all TV channels uh, of any dimension, like small local TV channels and big TV channels, are always trying to have a nice look over the air and it's not just related to the video or to the production mm -hmm. they are doing, but it's related strictly to the branding of the channel itself. So just to attract people or to inform people, having a graphic system nowadays in master control, it's a plus. And it's something that everyone is trying to use just to give to the viewers more information mm -hmm. or creating an identity. An identity, that's why we are talking about uh, channel branding. Sure. Because like, the people have to have an experience mm -hmm. watching the channel, recognizing the channel, also through graphic uh, elements. So that's why um, during the last 10 years we faced an evolution between a classic logo generator that mm -hmm. was just airing the logo of a TV channel, so uh, just a static or animated logo, and nowadays we are seeing everywhere yeah. like crawls, rows, tickers, banners with advertising, breaking news mm -hmm. and that's something not related to production but it's something related to the channel branding yeah. because the entire graphic system has a kind of templates that allows the people to recognize the channel itself so uh, having a DLG plus today it's an essential tool mm -hmm. in any kind of master control just to let the viewers in having uh, an advanced interaction with the channel the channel yeah. is alive yeah. so you can broadcast live news breaking news information uh, you can generate info channels you can broadcast like traffic information mm -hmm. during the days updates related to football so everything that can goes in a 24-hour playlist okay that's so, great uh, yeah i think that everyone get mm, used to uh, receive and, and uh, also having an interaction between the channel. Absolutely. So messages or any kind of uh, fees also yes. coming from the web, for example. And um, uh, about the uh, usability of this product, you know that in our experience for our all of our software, we uh, are very careful in, in, in this side uh, of the development of the product. So we always try to think about the person who is going to use it at the Absolutely. end. Uh, so what can you say about this, uh, um, about the DLG from this point of view? Um, let's focus on two main things. Mm -hmm. So uh, workflow in a TV channel, it depends about how many people they are working right like 
straight in the master control. Sure. And nowadays, we are seeing a lot of master control without personnel mm -hmm. because they have a playlist running and the operator are just overseeing the entire workflow that is automated. Yeah. So uh, you go live directly having an automatic switch in the yeah, playlist. Yeah, they are unattended. Uh, it's unattended. Uh, okay. But at the same time, uh, for example, in a thematic channel, like mm -hmm. a music channel, I was visiting uh, before the, the pandemic uh, music channel and with an attended master control, but with the need of having uh, social messages yeah, going over the air during the day. So that's why the channel branding, the DLG Plus, allows you to interact, to create this kind of interaction with the viewers. And, and the channel seems to be alive because you have a continuous yeah, feed. Okay. How you can do it? You can do it automatically, as mm -hmm. I was saying, or you can do it manually. Okay. And that's why Axel Technology develops solutions that are very user friendly. And that's one of these. So this solution allows any kind of operator. You don't have to be a graphic designer. You don't need to have a vertical training yeah. on graphic system. Just to create your own template or just to type if your director or the news director is saying to you, OK, write a breaking news because we are going live in 15 minutes. And you don't have any kind of templates. You can create straight away a graphic live. template live okay. thanks to the simplicity of this system. That's the big plus. The market today, it's full of graphic system. Different pricing, different range of solution. Yeah, of course, you can choose the plus, between a, a, yes, a it's wide uh, Depending on your budget, of today products. you can buy any kind Anything, of software. Yeah. You have to point on the usability. Of course. Since you know like there's not a lot of people in the channel staying in front of a unit all day long. Mm -hmm. And people can change frequently yeah. so we have very small channels where the camera guys during the morning is shooting outside some footage for the news mm -hmm. in the evening it's working in the master yeah. company so it's not a graphic operator and of it needs course. to have a tool very simple but with the all features and capabilities to have a very stunning look over the air and that's why Axel develops this software that is very appreciated both for 24-hour channels like pre-recorded with movie channels yeah. and live channels. So it's a very interesting tool. We're going to focus on, on some key on features. On some keys, yes. yeah. And uh, what about the formats that we support? OK, basically, like, Excel is selling worldwide. And worldwide, we are seeing very different formats. Yeah. As well, depending on the advance of technology of each channel. So we're, we're still having few channels working in standard definition. Some others are working yeah. in HD some other with a 50 uh, FPS, yeah. frame rate per second, some others with different frame rates. So the philosophy is the same in all Axel Technologies products. So also this system has different kind of output mm -hmm. and different kind of resolution. First of all, let's say yeah, it has a SDI output, yeah. HD, SD in of any course. kind of video format, NDI output for those that are producing uh, with the NDI protocol, they are streaming directly the graphic system yeah. inside the TriCaster or uh, new kind of equipment, and as well, EP streaming. Out. Of course. Okay, that's great. And uh, can you show us just uh, a little bit of the um, GUI? Yes. Just to explain the concept. So the user interface has been designed just to uh, be very simple and to have the look of a video mixer. And that's the big plus. So you can control the graphic system as it was a video mixer. I instead of having video, you have graphics. Okay. And here, this is the main uh, control section where you decide what you want to put over there. Okay. And this divided in two. As a video mixer has different layers yes. uh, you can combine together. Same DLG Plus. DLG Plus has this section that goes from 1 up to 99, okay. where you have exclusive command of the templates. Okay. So for example, over the air, right now we have the number one. It has a preview and a program output. Mm -hmm. So in the preview, you can see what is going to be over the air as yeah, a next you can check. graphics. Okay. So you see here we have several logos, animation. It's a sample. Okay. Uh, we have complex template. This is like another sample, uh, very simple. So there's the name of a city and yeah. um, the time. The time and then the logo. Here we have a template for a music channel okay. where you have a list of uh, songs uh, spinning in a yeah, ticker in a side and, 
in some okay. crows updated by a newsroom or coming from a RSS feed. Yeah, we will so see the nice integration. Which the sources can be. Okay, I do select what I have in preview. I do like it. I do want to put it over here. I can select the number four manually. I can press take program as a mixer. Okay, and, and you just bring it. The previous template goes out but with very nice and smooth transition and it comes in the number four that's our template for, uh, for the, the music. music channel okay that's the control so uh, i used to say it's exclusive so yeah. if i press four it cannot be five so it's one or the other yeah each one is uh normally also um, conceived for some kind of format of tv format or yes. or channel format that, that's why we call it as a branding system because we are not the control of a single element mm. we have a control yeah. of a complete template that gives you mm -hmm. the identity of the channel of the itself. channel what else here we have from one up to 99 we have a x i call it jolly button because mm -hmm. over here you can select like right away, very quickly, okay. a template. Any. Maybe you don't have here in the list. Okay. You have a blank just to clean all the graphics that are over okay. the air. And then you have this section from A to Z. Okay. These are additive elements. Okay. I'm going to show you. Nice. I have a logo. Let's say this is our standard TV station logo. Okay. That he has to be over the air 24-7 all year long have an animation, a text, mm -hmm. a clock. And the clock. I can decide to insert and to add okay. something else. And having and the, the control, have, the single okay, control the of weather. these elements. Let's say you have this weather coming in or a match. Okay. We have like, we, we just finished the European Cup. Yeah, we just won them, actually. <laughs> we won it. <laughs> so maybe you are running it you are running a movie you don't have the rights to play out the match yeah. but you want to give your viewers the result. An update. okay here we have the results so those are additive you can add as many templates as you want depending on the power of your system of and course you're going to explain it yeah and when you deselect it they're going just out okay they're just fading away yes these two words these two sections are combined together. Okay. So while I'm over the air with these three, three elements, with yes. these three templates, I can select the other templates over here oh, okay, and combine course. everything together. So it gives me a lot of flexibility on combined graphics, depending on the hour of the day, on the program. Mm -hmm. They can be manually controlled, as I'm showing you now, yes. just pressing buttons. Mm -hmm. They can be scheduled. For example, we have very small local channels that are promoting during the morning some events or concerts yeah. uh, taking place in a small city. Okay. And they want, like, the customer is paying for this mm -hmm. advertising and it's a graphic banner coming in and they're paying to stay over the air 30 seconds every okay, hour. Okay, just so, like an advertisement. Yes, there's a section, scheduler, that allows you to schedule some elements okay. that can rotate during the day while you stay over the air with your standard classic fixed graphics okay. for your channel. Some That's other great. kind of connectivity. You can receive comments from outside, yes. from GPI, yes. or from our TV automation system, okay. for example, the XTV. Our XTV, yeah. So you can have your standard graphics manually controlled, mm -hmm. and then you can have as well automatic graphics coming from the automation, from the of automation course. system. Of so, course. We will um, go through that later on. We have several ways to, to yeah, use to this Yeah, to manage unit. this. Yes. Okay. And uh, what about how many of these templates, I, I mean, we just saw that the, the main template is just one, but as far as concerns the other uh, tools that we can add, uh, how many we can manage? Okay, everything depends on the power of your workstation. Yeah, that was so a tricky question. That, that's <laughs> tricky because we have people that want to play out many elements. Yeah. Like right now we are seeing uh, templates uh, for a... Uh, business TV channel, mm -hmm. updating people about the stocks. Yeah, so a lot of content, a lot of content, a lot of info. And, and they are uh, coming, one from a website, some others from Excel file, from, uh, okay. some others from so RSS. So many different sources. So there's also. many different sources at the same time. Here in the user interface, we can see the usage of the CPU. Okay. So this unit is... A we can always check. Yes, um, you can check it. Keep an eye on it. Of course, Axel can provide turnkey units depending on the needs of the yes, clients of course. or just the software. 
for the software, of course, you need a very powerful unit if you want to broadcast yeah. a channel in mm. HD with many elements. Yeah. So it depends about the needs you have in, in your TV channel. Correct. We also mm. have in our catalog the four channel, uh, four channels Tarki version. But in that case, normally we ask uh, what is the use that the yes. customer has in his mind and um, what the actual needs of yes. the channel are because otherwise the risk is to have uh, a, a machine that at the end is not going to fulfill or the expectations yes. Yes. of the customer. So we purchase all, also the software only version but normally in that case we provide also the hardware requirements and we are very uh, careful about the indication for yes. the customer to have the right machine in order to uh, to use the software. Uh, we have a question uh, from Steven. Thank you, Steven, for this question. Is there a limit in the number of layers I can stack? No, there's no limit. The limit is the power of your workstation. Yeah. So, of course, uh, there's no physical limit nowadays. It depends just on the power of the unit. Of the unit, yeah. Yes. Just as I already uh, explained. Uh, so, uh, Matteo, one of the um, our um, one doubt that can uh, arise uh, from some people that maybe are already using our uh, automation, so our XTV, which actually already has uh, is on. Um, graphic uh, uh, graphic machine inside, okay, and also some graphic tool in order to use it. So the CG composer normally. Uh, what is the difference, and uh, to whom uh, would you suggest the use of the DLG Plus? Uh, adding it, of course, yeah. to the graphics already included in the XTV. The answer is between. Uh, Technical and creative. Yeah. So, I mean, who's having nowadays a TV channel just running movies with no live stream, like live program? Mm -hmm. uh, you can continue in using the internal graphic generator provided by X Playout, by the XTV Suite. Okay. When it comes to the time in broadcasting live program, so you have to switch from the automation yes. to a live feed. Okay. Here, the DLG Plus is oh, the tool okay. allowing you, you to keep the same kind of power engine, mm -hmm. but with all the features of something you can manage quickly, physically, and very user-friendly. Okay. So you, you can work on live feed and overlay your graphics on live programs. We have clients running on digital channels for movie movie channels mm -hmm. they're playing out just moving during the day so here we suggest in buying four uh, the four channel version of the yes. plus just to keep all the usability of a branding system according to the automation so they can run the graphics automatically through the automation but mm -hmm. they can insert as well live feed uh, live content live graphics depending on the channel they're running so if they're running a, mu a music channel they want to have social network feeds or incoming news, yeah, uh, breaking news during the day. That's the way they should decide to move from an internal graphic system to an external one, just to have the full control of it. Okay, uh, we have a question from Dimitris. Uh, thank you, Dimitris, for sending this question. I have the magnificent DLG Plus since 2015. Great. Uh, can I upgrade to this version of software? My DLG is running on Windows 8.1. Thanks in advance. Cheers from Greece. Okay, so thank you very much for the question. Uh, yes, of course, you can update the software. Mm, if you uh, maybe you should renew your uh, remote assistance and software update contract, uh, you should uh, write to our sales department email so you can write to sales at exceltechnology.com and we will give you all the information about the software renewal now we will also be seeing some new developments some new tools yes so i would suggest to everyone that is already using this uh, software 
to update it because uh, it really contains a lot of new little tools, uh, very powerful actually and uh, uh, very useful. We will see them just yes. uh, straight away. Uh, we have another question, uh, first of all, from uh, Omar. Uh, is this come in software only? And how does integrate with X Play Out? I think we already replied to, to this yeah, so to both questions. So just to recap quickly, the X Play Out can have its own like graphic system yeah. inside the Play Out itself, or it can push graphics and automate the DSG Plus. Yeah. So it's they, they work together. So they, they are coming from Access Technology. So they, they talk yeah, to each they other. Are, they are so conceived to work together, yes. of course. So the play out can have a playlist with specific graphics insertion during mm -hmm. the day, according to the clip or to the kind of media you are broadcasting. And the DSG Plus can be remoted by the automation. Yeah. So now we are or manual. currently yes. showing some um, fee, OK, from uh, X Play Out yes. and of course the two softwares are working together. So X Play Out can trigger DLG Plus while DLG Plus can be also manually operated. Okay, perfect. And uh, yes, about the software only version, yes, but normally we also suggest which kind of hardware you should use. If you already have some hardware, some workstation of, your, of yours, uh, normally we would ask you to send the uh, hardware requirements in order to check them before to approve the use of our software in that uh, workstation if we are not providing it. Yeah, you, you have to broadcast 24 hours, so yeah, uh, it, the it workstation really requires, has to run smoothly and yeah. have the requirements yeah. needed by the Edge Plus just to, definitely, to be stable. Definitely. Uh, so, Matteo, can you please show us some of your... Um, favorite uh, template. tools, uh, template tools. and tricks also. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, well, over here, uh, I was talking about the main section, so where you have the control of the output of yes. those graphics layer. So between uh, the templates store between 1 and 99 and the other section, additive section between A and Z, there's a composer, the section pages. Okay. So you can install this unit, like this software, also in other machine. If you are, and if work. you have a graphic department, okay. you can leave the software to the graphic department. They can create their own package, their own graphic templates, and then export the entire package to be imported in the master control in the DSG Plus. You don't need an extra license. Okay. And that's a nice, uh, yeah, it's a nice thing mm -hmm. when it comes like to TV channel with different departments working on it. So you don't have to work directly on the unit. On the same machine. But for those that are working on the unit, while they are over the air, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you, like for example, I'm going in a blank page. Okay. And the usability, it's so simple, you don't need any training. You go in the section pages, you see you have the safe area according to the resolution you are using. Yes. Your object type, text, okay. static text. So you can choose which element you would like yes. to add. Media, you can have any kind of media or always, uh, almost any almost kind of any media. Almost any kind, yeah. Animation, PNG sequence, GIF, uh, TGA sequence. Uh, as well, if you have a very powerful unit mm -hmm. as well quick time animation with okay. alpha channels that are coming out from adobe after effect yes of course you have to have a lot of cpu yeah so here i just import a standard like animation it's a globe yeah animated i'm going to keep so the aspect choose. ratio okay i can keep it a little bit smaller put it over here okay i'm moving things manually i can use as well uh, okay the position x and y position okay or just align to the safe area. So that's media, but what kind of media? I can bring as well URL or memory, and I'm gonna show you later what memory stays for. Okay. I, I want to treat this animation. I wanna say, okay, it goes in loop. It's a spinning globe. It has to go in loop all time long. Okay. A slideshow, if I have a banner of different images that I want to use like as a slideshow. Mm -hmm. Background, that means it's an image that will cover the entire area, area? or okay. the screen. Let's bring a crawl, add. Okay, here I have a crawl. I can put the right dimension. I can define the foreground color for my text. I can select 
a different font, define, I'm gonna use it in bold, define the background color, so let's do a gradient just to mm -hmm. show, I can define also the alpha channel, the transparency. Okay. So a pretty good level of customization yes, is actually and, and available. Yes, the good thing is very simple. So, you, um, okay, let's bring a vertical. And over here you find as well the transition you can apply to the element. Okay, so, so from Coming which from side bottom uh, and going out from bottom while the globe up. is going to come in as a fade. So the, okay. the globe is going to fade in and fade out. It is, is going to come in and out from the bottom. Okay. I can insert as many layers as I want. So let me put a clock. Mm -hmm. Define my dimension, position. I have different format of the clock. Yes, of also course. Also with the so date, second, it. minutes. Okay, according to your... Daytime, count up, count down. Okay. Let's bring a color as well to this element. And we are all set. I can use as well as a, a image as a background. Okay. Remember I have the uh, transition. Well, right now I can save it as my TV template and press save. And going back to the main section. Okay where I'm going to find my TV template. Okay, that's the one I was there. designing. Okay, that's the preview. Or if I'm in a rush, directly from the section pages, I can okay. just take program. Okay, and, and put it, it goes on air. The, so you see I have my elements over the air, yeah. running already. Very nice, very nice, so I think. It's typical when you are in a rush and you have a breaking news that someone is going to type the breaking and it's going in. Okay. What's interesting, like here I'm bringing an Excel file, yes. but if I have a bunch of journalists in the newsroom, mm -hmm. I can attach, instead of an Excel file, I can just bring a simple, very simple TXT file. Okay. So directly from their own PC, their own workstation, they can update the file, press save, okay. and then and going over send there. On air. Every time they're going to press save on the TXT file, the DRG Plus will update the news over the air. Okay. So uh, very you don't nice. Need an operator uh, it's very here. smooth. Yes. Okay. And uh, what about the other things we can update from uh, an XLS file? There are many things. Yes. You just showed us uh, have, some of them, yes. but uh, I think we also have some new feature. New features? Yes, absolutely. So here is an example of ticker coming from Excel file. So you have a combination of news and images that comes together. Yeah. So those are three box, like the three departments, the three different kinds of journalists that can update during the day. But coming to the European Cup or to election, yes. uh, where you need to show some numbers, some numbers, from... charts. Here, a nice example. So not nice looking because I was doing it very quickly. Yeah, no, of so it's a table coming yes. from an Excel file. And you don't need any specific training to import those elements in the DLG Plus. Because, because it's coming a, from the Excel. Yes. So, and anyone like yeah. can run. Almost and anyone can, yes. <laughs> can use it. Let me open the Excel. So any diagram from Excel can be yes. basically imported. Absolutely. Here we have a chart. For example, we have 13 section. Let's say that the last section, the value is 80. Okay. I press OK. The charts updates in Excel. Yes. When I press save, put the attention on the screen. In the time I'm saving, the system okay. automatically updates over the air. That's great. So Very you nice. can have a journalist on the other side of the world just working remotely, saving in a Dropbox file, the Excel file, and, and the system automatically updates. Updating it live. Okay. Imagine we have some small channels with no people, no personnel during the night. We have journalists from home mm -hmm. just having a an file. election or something to update constantly. Just update it constantly. Yeah. Content in a shared folder and just from a TXT file or an Excel file. Yeah, I think so that... So the usability, it's incredible. Yeah, this is a very nice uh, yes. feature.
I believe. So we have a question coming from Maya. Thank you, Maya, for, for your question. So, hi, can I purchase the social app software to integrate with DLG Plus hardware without purchase hardware for both products? Yes, yes, you can. No problem with that. Just write to the sales department email, so sales at exceltechnology.com and we will provide you all the information, but definitely you can purchase the software only version for both uh, of these two softwares. Okay. And Social Lab is a nice plugin when it comes yeah, to uh, branding. Of it will so. add some boost to, yes. the, <laughs> to the sources that you can use uh, so with the DLG. Basically. Here we have like the music channel templates. Those templates are free to use. Uh, they are coming when you install the software. Yes, of and course. And the software is available as well as a demo in the Axel Technology website. Yes, so you can always you search for products, logo and graphics, DLG Plus. And when the page it opens, mm -hmm. you go in demo software. You can download the software and try it. So use like very useful. Here you can have a ticker or you can have social feed. If you are buying the social app plugin, over here you can integrate feed coming from YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, Line, yes. Skype. Of course, so many other very sources. Interesting sources. Okay. Um, and so, Matteo, uh, is there any other new feature that you would like to show us? For those who are watching from United States and North yes. America, the emergency alert system yes. required the to ETS. OTV, for, for all TV channels. So uh, the system can be integrated over here. So emergency alerts messages, mm -hmm. they can come and be encoded and, be and broadcast on air with the DLG Plus. Okay, that's so great, that's very nice. As a separate layer. So you can run your own TV channel with your standard graphics. The AES is always like listening. We have mm -hmm. a plugin in the system. It's listening. If a message, an alert message comes, the DLG Plus will broadcast it automatically. Okay, that's great. And besides the templates that we already uh, showed, and besides that um, you will be working, we can just give this little preview for yeah. the next season. Matteo will be working on some new templates. Okay, so we are going to um, to do some little update yes. uh, in this uh, in this range of templates. Uh, but also we have some way to. Uh, save the layout that we are using uh, just like in order to freeze them absolutely okay so let's say uh, I'm close to the holiday season mm -hmm. and I'm changing branding because it turns everything to Christmas and changing yeah. colors and everything but I want to keep my standard bro like broadcast template for the period after the yes in order season. to so just catch up with them at the end of the season I can save as a project the entire graphic suite of templates I generate okay, nice and then I can recall them when I will need it okay so it's very simple great save and load and I'm able to store as a backup or just because I want to load something okay. that is in, in, nice so the entire the configuration will be yes freeze and yes. then you can just recall it uh, when the season uh, it's over. is over. Yes. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Okay. Then we have three, four new things. Interesting. So we were showing you the charts. The yes. One of these First for uh, new tool. New tool. Live. Watch what I'm showing you over oh, here. Oh, this is very nice. I so really like this. I have a live feed mm -hmm. in the graphic system. Okay. What does it mean? I can generate a thematic channel, an info channel, I can mm -hmm. broadcast an advertisement as a movie inside the video. And this is a free uh, plugin yes. and it's a live feed. What does it mean? That maybe during the night I want to have a different look. I can generate a full screen graphic like template okay. during the night with sponsor in one side and over here I can have my own box with the live feed. Very simple to create. You go in pages, you see this is a box media that's why okay. i was saying you i'm going to show you later why yes. it's not a file a url it's a memory that was the when secret. you select a memory <laughs> it shows you okay. what kind of live feed you have incoming in the system it can be an sdi input or ndi okay that's then great. you define the position the dimension the aspect the transition and everything so you can have a picture in picture you take program and it goes over the air that's great very simple 
Very nice. Very Some nice other indeed. things? Yes. Okay, right now uh, you can integrate uh, content coming not just from TXT file, Excel or RSS, but as well from database, MySQL, MDB, uh, XML. So you can bring different data coming from different... Profile, di uh, different kind of databases. Kind of database. Okay. Yes. Then uh, we have some other nice things. Analog clock. That's the analog clock. Someone is still using it, so we integrate it because we were listening to the clients. I'm traveling and visiting clients yeah. uh, as a consultant, and they were asking uh, to bring an analog, uh, an analog clock. clock. So yeah. here we have it. And then we have some other nice features for those that are producing live program or sport. sport. We have the sport clock. Yeah. What's the difference the sport clock uh, from a, a normal clock? Mm -hmm. Is the fact that this one can go after the 60 minutes. Okay. So after the 60 minutes is okay. not counting one hour, but it's going forward in counting the minutes. Okay, so I can to the go format you, you need. Uh, yes. Okay. And I can generate count up, count down, down, defining the way I want to display it, minutes, second, hours. I'm having the control. Play, pause, reset, the counter information. Mm -hmm. And then I have a, where is it, date and time, if I have a live program and I'm generating a streaming, uh, okay, and this you is can show channel. the advice for something yes. that is coming, is coming soon. Yes, over okay. here I can say, okay, I have a live on Saturday 17 at this time. I press play, take program, and this is gonna show me how many minutes and hour are left okay. to this event. Of course, as a count up or count down. You see, I, I nice. press count down, so it's. Two days, 23 hours, 59 yeah, minutes, and 27 started. seconds to the live events. Great. That's nice if you have a live program like an automatic channel and you are showing like a broadcast panel just with the main information of your live program. Yeah, I think we showed some very nice features and uh, most importantly, I think we pointed out and we focused how we are always committed uh, to uh, develop some features and products that are just um, uh, fitted over the needs of our customers and I believe that that's the most important thing that we like to do here in Axel Technology. Uh, so I believe that we don't have any further questions for today. Thank you again Matteo for Thank being you. with us uh, today. Me. It's always my pleasure having you in these sessions and uh, in case of any need you can always refer to our sales department so you can write to sales at axeltechnology.com. Uh, as I already pointed out you, you uh, can ask for both the turnkey or the software only uh, yes. version of this software. Uh, normally for one channel the list price would start around uh, 4,500 um, more or less uh, euros but then of course we will provide you all the information about the prices. Thank you again Matteo. Oh, thank uh, you thanks to our friends who uh, were with us uh, today and uh, see you very soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.